I decided to do a little different because this is going to be a get ready with me Marine Corps female style vlog. Um, so right now, obviously, I'm just waking up. Never too excited to wake up. And usually I start my day off by turning on my phone and like, I guess, getting myself updated with anything that might happen when I went to sleep. I usually do read my Bible around this time first also, but I have it in my car. I started doing a thing where I read it before I go to my chow hall. And yeah, so right now it's just me realizing that it's about 5.30 in the morning and I have to wake up and get ready for work. So, you know, that's always fun. Anyway, I'm about to get up and get my clothes out so I can be ready. Um, I usually don't sleep in green on green. I'm just having it on because of the video. I thought it would be Marine Corps kind of style video. Like, what would it be if I didn't have green on green? Okay, I know I look a mess right now, but I don't actually sleep in green. I'm about to take my little shower real quick and then I'll get out and do my hair. I usually don't work my hair in the shower because I just rather uh, use my little spray. Let me show you real quick. Use this spray to moisturize my hair and I'll just, yeah, style it. You'll see in the video. This is usually how I try and start all of my days. I'd rather leave my room clean before I leave because they do do random inspections randomly. I know that sucks. And other people in the military probably go through the same thing, random room inspections. But, you know, it's nice for the people at the age who don't have to go through that. They wouldn't understand. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so I'm sitting here cleaning up. Uh, all this trash up. I have my camis right here, about to put them on, as you can see. But every time I'm about to do something, like I just get so distracted, I have to go do something else. Like I literally went from trying to put them on to still feeling like I had to clean again, and it was like little things. So yeah, putting on my camis. After I brush my teeth, I'm gonna wash my face. I try to skip most of this video because, yeah, I'm like skipping it, trying to skip it because this video was long. This video would have been about an hour or something. Anyway, you see, I brushed my teeth, I flossed, I mouthwash, and now I'm about to wash my face with these products. I got all of those products from Walmart, by the way, but they help keep my face clear. And that oil is my mom's business. I'm going to post it at the end. But she sells some good oil and it helps heal your skin and keeps it nourished and shiny and all of that. Everything you want your face to feel like, the oil helps. Um, 
Yeah, so right now I'm putting the first face wash, which is this oil-free grapefruit wash. Um, I use that because it opens up my pores and cleans them out. And then I like to lather on the clean and clear one after that. So, yeah, I'm using my brush to make sure I get in those pores and clean around it and everything. I like this thing because I feel like it does get in my skin, gets the dirt and stuff and makes my skin look a little brighter. But I do also do like an Aztec clay mask at the end of the week usually. So I need to do one now. But to start off my week fresh, it's always good to have an Aztec clay mask. But I'm about to wash my face and show you guys. I like to wash with my hands. I know some people wash their face with their rags, but I use my rag to dry it. And I try and get a new cloth every time I'm washing my face, so I'm not putting the old dirt back in my face. Which is why I also have a thousand towels. But yeah, I'm just gonna wash my face and let you guys see the rest, and I'll come back with my hair. I guess. So well, actually, here's the other wash. Um, I feel like this clears and open up my skin it also makes my face feel really cold like i think that's just my pores closing and everything um but it does feel really good and my face looks really nice after taking it off For some reason the camera doesn't do me justice like the camera makes shows all the impurities of my skin versus when i'm looking in the mirror my skin looks clear so it doesn't make no sense i don't know if anybody else deals with that same thing but i know i do and sometimes it can be a pain Anyway, I like to wait like sometimes like a couple of minutes before I take off the face wash, which is why I'm like cleaning certain things up, like stuff I don't need right now. I'm just putting it up, put some deodorant on. And my other stuff, I try and get stuff done, but I like to leave this face wash on for like a good four minutes, which is why you see me cleaning a little whatever I don't need. I'm putting up while I wait. Usually when it starts to clear up is when I start to wash it off. You see, I skip the video and start washing off. But there's not that much left as soon as I wash. And I dry my face again. And I spray this rose water. It smells kind of like sandwiches, but I'm not going to lie. But it's a rose water spray. And then I put my oil. This is the oil that is from the mom's business. I'll put it at the end. Go shop at it. Soft intake melanin. And I've never put it oil. Sometimes I put cocoa butter. Well, now I started using the gold bond also. But yeah. I don't know why that video load is so slow. It's kind of creepy. Anyway, I'm putting my cocoa butter on my face. See, my face looks all oiled up or whatever. And what's one thing I've also been doing is putting a lot of oil in my hair. This video is a little older, but. I dyed my hair back brown and I also dyed my hair red at this time it's just it looks blonde in this video like you can see it looks like a it's not even like a blonde blonde it's like a burnt blonde I don't know how to make sense of that but it's supposed to be ginger and yeah um a little while ago I, my hair had got burnt so you see that front piece that's straight which I don't want to have to cut all my hair off just because pieces that are straight but I have went and got my hair done at this Dominican hair salon and didn't realize they were using way too much steam on my hair. So they kind of burnt my hair and now that part won't curl as it used to. I also have different curl patterns so some of my curls are looser than the back curls but that's always been like that. But I don't have straight parts like that front part so that's a problem. Anyway, I'm brushing through my hair. I like to um, spray my Aztec um, spray on there first to moisturize it. I don't want to put too much water because sometimes I feel like it's a little harder. It's easy to do my hair wet, but sometimes harder because I have to let it dry so it can shrink quicker. Anyway, I do add a little bit of water probably during this video. But while I'm brushing it, I try to keep it a little damp. And I'm just going to keep brushing through it until I got the fluffiness that I want and I'm gonna start putting my oils and my hair cream this is a shea moisturizer I put a moisturizer in my hair right now and then I'm probably gonna add some oils right after that 
I feel like oils do help me define my curls too, but I'm trying to use other stuff that's not gel. I'd rather not put gel in my hair, just because it damages your hair. So, as you see right now, I'm just brushing through my hair. I added some water just now. I didn't show you guys, but I threw some water in my hair. So, And now I'm breaking it off into sections and just brushing those pieces that I put the moisturizer and oil in. And just in case if y'all ask, no, my hair does poof up a little when it dries, but it's not as bad. Like, it's good enough to still be in regs, but around like 7 o'clock it gets way too big, so that wouldn't be in regs. But yeah, so I like to section my hair off in the parts, and I'm going to do the same with the other side. And then scrunch it, because sometimes when it's wet it looks straighter, even though when I scrunch it, it just has its curls come back. But yeah, as you can see, that part is darker. For some reason, it would not take the bleach whenever I try to dye my hair. Like, it wouldn't bleach. I don't know why, but it wouldn't bleach, so it's like that. But not anymore, since I re my hair all brown. And, um, yeah, I'm also seeing the growth, though, because the brown's a little lighter than my hair usually is. Or, it, feels a it looks a little darker to me, but the roots, for some reason, is lighter than what my hair usually is. But yeah, so I'm going to brush my hair out right here, and I'm going to do the same with the other side that I finish this. I usually try and let the one side dry a little so it can start shrinking while I do the other hair. And you can see that hair color looks totally different. One side and the other side. Like, one side being wet, it looks dark, and this side looks way lighter. I don't like this orange blonde look, though, so I didn't keep my hair like this for too long. If they started changing blonde too much, I just had to change it back. So, I just was like, I kind of miss my old hair, you know. Didn't really feel too much like myself with this blonde hair, so I had to go back. But, yeah, so I'm scrunching this up, or whatever. I'm going to separate my pieces. I do my hair kind of like a headband hairstyle, if that makes sense. I put a little gel in the front because I do want this part to stay, but I didn't put no eco. It's like a pro styling gel that's not too strong and... It's just enough to hold it. Unless I touch it, then it will come up. But it's just enough to hold my hair down without having to worry about it. So I like to put the front piece up. And this, I love doing this little headband hairstyle because I feel like my hair is out of my face. I don't have to actually wear an actual headband. And I couldn't if I wanted to because military doesn't like you to see your hair headbands. So this is a great option for girls with like short curly hair like me or short hair in general if you want to keep your hair out your face do like a headband hairstyle so mine is my natural headband with just gel parting the front part of my hair and as you can see it looks really cute when my hair starts to dry i love doing this hairstyle but my hair is getting too long so i have braids right now so i don't even know what my hair is going to look like if i try and wear it out I know the last time I tried to wear it out, right before I dyed it, I got frustrated because my hair was too long. And you see right here, it's still too long that I try to roll it up and hold it because sometimes it will dry and stay that length if I do that. But I had to roll it up <laughs> because I didn't want to have to do a bun. So anyway. But now I know if I took out my braids, I'm doing French braids right now, just oiling it up so that way I'm keeping my hair moisturized and healthy and stuff and not putting too much products. But yeah, I did like the red hair while it was still the ginger red, but after it started to fade, it, I just was like, I'd rather have my brown hair back. Even though it's not fully the same way as it was, because it had the blonde pieces in it, I just hope my hair color naturally comes back and I think it's starting to but since I only see a part of it, it just looks black to me but or like a dark brown like darker than what my usual brown is anyway so as you see I'm putting my blouse I usually wait last to put my blouse on just because I feel like it's in the way like the collar is in the way when I'm trying to brush my hair and I don't want to have a whole bunch of cream just sitting on the top of my Kimmy shirt. I'm just gonna do a little show you guys thing. Like, ooh, who is she? Mm -hmm. You see, I did that. I did that. Anyway, so I'm about to button my camis. 
and I'm making this little tea detox water. I like to make them, like usually I would make them every morning. I have to get back to it, I haven't did it in a while. But every morning I would make me a little cup of tea and I have these teas that I got from TJ Maxx. Or yeah, I got it from TJ Maxx in their little tea section. And yeah, so I'm about to put this tea in a bag. I got them with different remedies, like some are for, uh, like stress detoxers or just uh, any kind of detox um, also with detox waters you can make your own by putting lemon in your water but yeah I like to I don't like to drink out the fountain water so I have water bottles that I put in the fridge I wait till they get cold and then I'll use those waters for my drink and I'll throw those away and have to keep buying a new case of water every week like I have to go get one now but it's okay right now um, and yeah so with my detox water I put the tea bag I put my cold water in. I like to shake up my tea water right after I had um, poured the water in and I'm also gonna add fruit to it but first I'm gonna mix the water and then show you guys the fruit in a second Um, I usually would do lemons for like detoxes, but it's okay to add other fruits sometimes. So I put mangoes with my tea water and it adds just a little bit of that flavor. I don't want to add any um, extra sugars, I'd rather just add natural sugars in my drinks. And if not, I just won't drink it. Like I don't even drink sodas or anything. I drink cranberry juice and that's like the closest thing to a juice I'll drink. But I try and stay away from other like carbonated drinks and etc. But now I'm leaving. I turned off all my lights, got my keys. Um, so one thing you don't ever really walk with your phone in uniform. So this is only just because of the video. And I thought I turned my phone off, but I guess I was still walking when I left. Anyway, okay. So while I'm in my waiting in my car for these last few minutes, I got like 30 minutes before I need to be at work. So. I'm gonna do my little morning Bible study real quick and then right after that I'm gonna go to the travel hall. It's my little Bible case. I got this from City Trends by the way. I love you guys are looking for it. You can message me, I can send like the information or whatever to get one and also have this Bible. I prefer the King James version. Um but I do believe all translations are almost the same. It's just King James Version seems more biblical to me. I don't know. I just feel like since it's written kind of in that old-fashioned time, it's more based on probably how old they really were in the Bible. I don't know how it makes sense to that, but I'm going to do my little Bible study. Um, actually, while I'm up here, I'll read to you guys life's uh, verse. Let's go to it real quick. Oh, I my hands. 
so it's Roman 37, Romans 37 through 39, and it says, Yet in all these things we are more than conquerors, through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature, created thing, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So I'm going to do my little Bible study. Um, I'm going to take a video when I go to the chow hall. Right now it's like 6 45 or something. I don't know, no, I didn't really look at it. But this is the chow hall, this is my food. They usually have like little cooking stations as you can see. Um I decided to get two over easy eggs with bacon, tomato, and uh, a little bit of cheese. And now I'm taking it to work. As you can see, um, I try to eat at the chow hall, but if I get there late, I have to usually take the food to go and the way my job is, they have a nice little, um, do I call it, a drive-in, I guess, kind of thing. Um, my little purse, I don't buy Kate Spade just because of how her circumstances went. I usually don't support things like that when, if there's brands that kill themselves, I don't buy their stuff. Uh, it's just a thing for me. I know other people aren't like that. Not saying I have anything against them, I just don't really agree with certain things like that, so I But that's awesome. Yeah, it's a vlog, so um, I'm back to my room right now. It's a little early. Um, since I'm at the new command I'm at or whatever, um, let me get my friend to the list. It's not here yet, but whatever. Um, if you in the military, you know what I mean. But, yeah, so I'm chilling in my room or whatever. I'm probably gonna watch I've been watching weird shows on Netflix like this and one good one that I've been watching lately was um, I forgot what it's called and I was just thinking about it in my head I think it's called pretty short sure stretch with Before I say something about the boondocks, it's not the boondocks. Oh, it's Outer Banks. That's what it is. We're watching Outer Banks, another show called Maria or Mary Posa Di Barrio. And yeah, these stories be like intense. I don't know why they're so interesting. When I first started watching Outer Banks, I was like, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep watching this because they seem too. If you watch it, you know what I mean. It's just, you know, they just seem a little. But, yeah, this show's been interesting, Never Have I Ever is interesting, and Mary Posa de Barrio. Another good show, if y'all haven't watched it, it's been on Netflix for a long time, called Rain. And, yeah, I was so sad when that show ended. ended. That's how good it was. All Americans would too, whatever, even though I skipped all the way to, like, the third season and watched the whole third season. But Miss eight episodes in the second season so i don't really know what happened um but yeah so yeah i'm probably gonna watch one of those shows now whatever for a few minutes and then i'm gonna um, hop in the shower change into my workout clothes and i'm gonna go for a jog and do a little workout I might do some more legs today because i've been trying to get my legs stronger or whatever so i can get faster again or whatever and yeah, there might be some kind of some times where I do videos on like personal talks or some story times because I have a lot of stuff going on. I've been I've worked at a lot of jobs, so maybe I can do story times on those and stuff. But yeah, so this is how my day is going right now, and I will just watch my little show for right now, and then.
this is in my video. I hope you guys like it. If you do like it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, have a good day and follow my social media. And if you see this, like, share, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching again. Bye!